Johnson Central. Johnson Central uh, comes in with a record of 15 and 8. And Greenup County comes in with a record of 13 and 12. As you can tell, the uh, coaches and umpires meeting at the uh, home plate right now. And they are going over the uh, ground rules. And we're just about ready to play some baseball. We'll take a break, come back, get you ready for the first pitch and the starting lineups in just a couple of moments here on the Cool Hit Sports Network. Tres Hermanos Nunez has such a wide variety of authentic Mexican menu items. Appetizers, nachos, steak, chicken, seafood fajitas, chimichangas, tacos, burritos, quesadillas, mocajetes, vegetarian choices, a kid's menu, desserts and salads, all at affordable prices. For budget-pleasing, great-tasting Mexican food, Tres Hermanos Nunez is on your way in Ashland, Greenup, Grayson, Payne, Gainesville, Canova, South Point, Oliveville, and the newly remodeled interior of the Cannonsburg location now open. Reyes Hermanos Nunez. Quality marathon gasoline, great monthly specials on snacks and beverages, and fantastic service. Those are the qualities of Clark's Pump and Shops. You'll find a Clark's Pump and Shop near you in the Bluegrass State and beyond. And Rick and Brent Clark want you to know that they take pride in giving you the best prices and service, and they thank you for your patronage. Clark's Pump and Shops are a division of the John W. Clark Oil Company. Clark's Pump and Shops. Return. Refresh. Refuel. You know, financial security begins at home with home ownership. If you've been putting off looking for a home because you think you can't afford it, you owe it to yourself to check out Members' Choice Credit Union. Members' Choice Credit Union has programs for first-time home buyers and more to help put you in the home of your dreams. Call, click, or stop by Members Choice Credit Union today. Members Choice Credit Union, NMLS 411945, Equal Housing Lender. Call for additional information. Other restrictions may apply. Since 1956, Sperry Auto Parts has served the Tri-State with used, late model, foreign, and domestic auto parts. Sperry Auto Parts stays in touch with dealers nationwide through their hotline service for parts and late model repairable cars, trucks, and SUVs specializing in Jeep, Chrysler, and GM. Sperry's provides a 30-day warranty on engines and transmissions. They also have a computerized inventory, making for quicker and better service. See the winning team at Sperry Auto Parts, Route 8 in South Portsmouth, Kentucky, across from the Carl Perkins Bridge. You thought for a long time about keeping your firearms and valuables safe and out of harm's way. Order Sporting Goods has the area's greatest selection of Liberty safes and a wide range of sizes, styles, and colors. And Borders also has the Tri-State's best and most complete selection of firearms, hunting supplies, fishing supplies, archery supplies, knives, camo, and boots. From the smallest fishing hook to the largest Liberty safe, the best brands, the best selection, and the best prices in the Tri-State are at Borders Sporting Goods. Route 60 West in Ashland, where your money will be well spent. Welcome back here to Johnson Central High School in Paintsville as we get you ready for high school baseball action on a beautiful uh, Friday evening. Uh, as we start this game, we've got sunshine and 70 degrees. Cool down when the sun goes down, I'm sure. But right now, sun-drenched field. Let's set Johnson Central's lineup for you. Leading off and playing second base, Matt Crum hitting second. The catcher, Brock Butcher, hitting third. The center fielder, Connor Lamaster, hitting fourth and playing shortstop, Ryan Sarton Sloom. Hitting fifth and playing first base, Keegan Pelfrey. Hitting sixth, the right fielder, Chan Chandler Spradlin. Hitting seventh, the DH, Mason Kessner. He'll be hitting for the pitcher. Uh, hitting in the number eight spot, playing left field, Brock Bowling. Hitting ninth and playing third base, Josh Sloom. On the mound pitching is Gavin Crum. For Greenup County, leading off the DH, Bradley Atkins. He'll be hitting for the third baseman, Elijah Hankins. Hitting second, the center fielder, Austin Clarkson. Hitting third, playing shortstop, Carson Wireman. Hitting fourth and playing left field, Hunter Clevenger. Hitting fifth and playing first base, Brock Kitchen. Hitting sixth, the right fielder, Cohen Underwood. Hitting seventh, the catcher, Logan Bays. Hitting eighth and playing second base, Jonah Gibson. And hitting ninth and on the mound pitching, Cam Carroll. Ready to get this game underway. And stepping up to the plate is Atkins, who is DHing tonight for the third baseman, Hankins. And the first pitch is ball one low. One zero pitch upstairs, two and zero. Atkins hitting three eighty nine on the year has three extra base hits, all doubles.
Crum looks in, has a sign, and the pitch is a called strike. Two and one. 320 down the lines, 335 to the power alleys, and 355 straightaway center field here at Johnson Central. And the pitch outside corner called strike two, so the count now two and two to Atkins. Two two pitch swung on, foul back to the netting. Count stays two and two. Greenup County comes in 13 and 12. They've won six of their last eight games. Johnson Central 15 and eight. They've won two in a row and 11 of their last 12. On a pretty good streak right now. 2-2 two -two pitch, change ups, got him. Called strike three, pretty pitch. One away and that brings up the center fielder Austin Clarkson. Clarkson hitting 368. He has two home runs, one triple, five doubles. One away, nobody on. First pitch to the left-hander is low and inside, ball one. Last time out, Johnson Central beat Letcher County Central. That was on Wednesday. 10 to 3. Last time out, Greenup at Ashland beat Ashland 13 to 6. 1 0 pitch on the way. Upstairs, 2 0. Here's a swing and a foul back to the netting. Two balls and one strike to Clarkson. Crum ready and the pitch swung on, fouled again. Two and two. Wireman on deck for the Musketeers. Right back in action again tomorrow at home. That's a 12 noon start. We'll tell you about it coming up as they've changed that time. Here's a 2-2 pitch swung on, fouled back again and out of play. Crum looks in, has a sign, and the 2-2 pitch. He swings and hits it into left field. It was an outside high changeup, and he just went with it, and the left-hander takes it into left field for a base hit. Good piece of hitting there to st just take that outside pitch and take it to left field. First hit of the ball game, Clarkson on down at first, and it brings up Carson Weirman. Weirman hitting 373, five extra base hits, all doubles. Clarkson with a lead down at first base. Crum will check him. And the first pitch upstairs, ball one. Clarkson has attempted 12 steals and been successful 10 times. Again, Crum. Checks, and the pitch, strike called right down the heart of the plate, fastball, one and one. Again, checks Clarkson over at first base. And now Crumb's gonna step off. Clarkson acted like he was gonna go. Play a little cat and mouse, and Crum steps off the rubber, chases him back. Again, checks Clarkson. And here's the pitch, and a strike called off speed pitch on the outside part of the plate.
Clarkson again takes his lead at first base, and Crum looks over, checks him, comes set. And they got him in a rundown. And he's out. Got him leaning, and he gets caught. Nowhere to go, so he just takes off to second base. Two down. Drum ready and the pitch swung on, foul. Back to the netting. Clevenger on deck if Wyman gets aboard. Two down, nobody on. Top of the first inning. One ball, two strikes to Wireman. In the dirt, two and two. Again, Crum looks in, has a sign, winds in the 2-2 pitch. Almost hit him right over his head. <laughs> Count now three and two, and Crumb ready in the pitches to the backstop. Way upstairs again. So he walks him. First walk. That'll put Wyman at first base with two down and bring up Hunter Clevenger. Clevenger hitting 309, two home runs and one triple. Wyman takes a lead at first base. Pretty good lead. Crum will come to the plate, inside and low, ball one. Center field playing Clevenger to pull just a tad. Pitch swung on, fouled off to the right now to play. One ball, one strike to Clevenger. Again, Wireman takes a lead down at first base. And Crum steps off to chasing back. Again, Crum checks Wireman. Here's the pitch. Strike called, throw down to first, Wireman back. Again, Wireman with the lead. Crum will come to the plate, swung on and missed on an off-speed pitch, struck him out. Second strikeout of the inning for Greenup County. No runs on one hit, no errors, and one left on base. We go to the bottom of the first inning. Greenup County nothing. Johnson Central coming to bat here on the Cool Hits Sports Network. I'm April Perry, the CEO of Kentucky Farmers Bank. On average, our employees have been with Kentucky Farmers Bank for over 10 years, and that is important to you and us. We want you to know who you are dealing with. Whether you are financing a new home, buying a car, or remodeling your kitchen, Kentucky Farmers Bank is the better bank for all your needs. Kentucky Farmers Bank, the better bank for all your financial needs since 1931. Located in Ashland, Summit, and Catlettsburg, KentuckyFarmersBank.com. 
member FDIC and equal housing lender. Quality Marathon Gasoline. Great monthly specials on snacks and beverages and fantastic service. Those are the qualities of Clark's Pump and Shops. You'll find a Clark's Pump and Shop near you in the Bluegrass State and beyond. And Rick and Brent Clark want you to know that they take pride in giving you the best prices and service, and they thank you for your patronage. Clark's Pump and Shops are a division of the John W. Clark Oil Company. Clark's Pump and Shops. Return. Refresh. Refuel. Welcome back here to Johnson Central. Let's set uh, Greenup County for you defensively. Down at first base is Brock Kitchen. At second base, Jonah Gibson. At shortstop, Carson Wireman. At third base, Elijah Hankins. Out in left field is Hunter Clevenger. In center field, Austin Clarkson. In right field, Cohen Underwood. Behind the plate catching, Logan Bays. And on the mound pitching is Cam Carroll. Carroll has 36 innings pitched, given up 58 hits, 39 runs, 30 of them earned, 24 walks, 35 strikeouts. He will face Crum, Butcher, and Lamaster. Here in the first inning for Johnson Central. Crum hitting 319 on the year, one home run, six doubles. The right-hander steps up to the plate, waiting on the umpire to get back. Getting some balls. Carroll Reddy has a sign from Bays, and the first pitch is outside ball one. One-0 pitch. Strike called. Good pitch. Fastball outside part of the plate. One and one. Carroll has a sign and a 1-1 pitch. Just missed outside. One pitch popped up right side. Kitchen over towards foul territory, and it's going to be on top of the dugout area. Count two and two. Lead off hitter for Johnson Central here in the bottom of the first. No score. Pitch swung on high, chopper. First baseman is going to get it. Flip, did they get him? Yes, nice play. Kitchen fields it, flips to Carroll covering, and they get him, so that will go 3-1 to one for the putout. One away and brings up the catcher, Brock Butcher. Hitting 341, one home run, three doubles on the year, 23 RBIs. Also a right-handed hitter. First pitch, strike called. Good pitch. Kill ready, and the 0-1 pitch is strike two called on the outside part of the plate. 0-2 quickly ahead of Butcher. Well, Master on deck. O2 pitch misses outside. 
One and two. One, two, pitch, strike three, called, and he knew it. Two down, nobody on, brings up Connor LeMaster. LeMaster hitting 453 on the year, two home runs, two triples, six doubles, 23 RBIs. Left-handed batter. Pitch swung on, fouled over towards the third base dugout. <laughs> oh, and one to count. Pitch misses just a little bit low. One and one. Clarkson shading a little bit towards right center field. Big gap in left center field. Carroll steps off for a moment. Now he's ready to go. Has the sign from Bays. And the pitch is low again. Two and one. So two balls and one strike to the master with two down and nobody on for Johnson Central here in the bottom of the first. Carol Reddy and the 2-1 offering misses inside. Three and one. Good pitch. Close. Three one pitch. Swung on, fly ball, center field. Clarkson has room, goes over towards left field, makes the catch, one, two, three inning. For Johnson Central in the first, no runs, no hits, no Greenup County errors, and nobody left on base. We played one. Your score is Greenup County nothing, Johnson Central nothing, here on the Cool Hits Sports Network. I can't believe the house is ours. Finally, freedom. Today's the day, my own business. These are the moments you'll remember forever when a bank becomes more than a checking account or loan. At People's Bank, our core difference is providing you peace of mind and confidence in your financial life. By asking the right questions and working with you, we earn your business. Together, we're building financial success one special moment at a time. People's Bank, working together, building success. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. If you're looking for a complete discount pharmacy with old-fashioned service and excellent prices, then you're looking for Stultz Pharmacy. Since 1979, Stultz Pharmacy has provided our area with the finest in pharmacy care. 24-hour emergency prescription service, free delivery and drive through service for prescriptions. For hometown service, see the professionals at Stultz Pharmacy in Greenup and Wheelersburg. More than you expect from a pharmacy. Stultz Pharmacy. Welcome back here to Johnson Central in Painesville as we go to the top of the second inning. No score. Gavin Crum on the mound. Coming into this game, had pitched 20 and two-thirds innings, given up 15 hits. 16 runs, 15 of them earned. 15 walks, 38 strikeouts. He'll pitch to Brock Kitchen, Cohen Underwood, and Logan Bays. Kitchen hitting 403, one home run, seven doubles, 22 RBIs. Left handed hitter. Crumb's first pitch is inside and hits the dirt. 1 0.
Roddy's ready and pitches, and it's low ball two. Beautiful night for baseball on a Friday night here in Paintsville. Pitch is low and inside, 3 0. Here's a cold strike. I think that's when you just uh, expect it to be a strike, and so you call it a strike. Here's one that's low, ball four. Second walk given up by Crum. Leadoff man on base. And it brings up Cohen Underwood, right-handed hitter. Underwood hitting 294, four doubles, 17 RBIs. See if they try to bunt him over. Third baseman in on the grass. He does show bunt. And everybody's coming in. And first, third, and second all rushing. Again, a check of Kitchen over at first base. Shows bunt. Here's the pitch, and it's to the backstop. Won't have to bunt him over. Wild pitch will get him to second base. So let's see if they're still trying to bunt him now to third. Big difference, man at third base with one out or no outs. He does show bunt, takes outside, 2-0. Oh. Two oh pitch upstairs, 3-0. and oh. Underwood with a count of 3-0. Kitchen on down at second base. Walked and went to second on a wild pitch. And the pitch is ball four outside. Walked two in a row on nine pitches. Third walk. And that's going to bring up Logan Bays, the catcher. And Greg Logan wants to talk. To everybody, as he calls time, the catcher and shortstop come to talk to the pitcher. Now everybody will go back to their respective places, and Bays will come up, and I guarantee you he's going to bunt. Squares to bunt, takes a called strike. Letter high. Base hitting 244 on the year. Three extra base hits, one double, two doubles, one triple. Squares to bunt again. It's in the dirt. Good job by the catcher to keep this one in front of him. Count one and one to base. Gibson on deck. Two on, nobody out for Greenup County here at the top of the second. Both by way of walks. Again, base shows bunt, takes upstairs. Two and one. Again, base squares to bunt. And he does bunt it down the third baseline. Good bunt, only one play. That's going to be first, and they're going to have to hurry. And they didn't get him, and they throw it away. One run will score, and they'll hold the other runner up at third base, and Bays will go on down to second base.
That will go down as a bunt single and then an error on the pitcher, which allows the run to score and the runners to advance to second and third. So you get runners at second and third now with nobody out, and Jonah Gibson, the second baseman, steps up to the plate. He squares to bump, bunts it down the first baseline, and it is foul. Man, that was a perfect bunt if it stayed fair because the catcher was up the line, the pitcher was coming, and uh, the runner was scoring from home. And the only play they were going to have, and I don't know if they would have had a play at first, but it just rolls into foul territory. Thought the grass was going to keep it from going foul there for a moment, but so 0-1-1 to Gibson. Runners at second and third, one run in. Squares to bunt again. Bunts this one down the third baseline. Here comes the runner. Here's the throw, and they got him. Sure did. Nice throw by, nice flip by the third baseman who fielded it and flipped it to the catcher. Did a good job. So Gibson will be on with a fielder's choice on the 5-2 to two put out. So now you got runners at first and third. And the pitcher... Cam Carroll coming up, and then the top of the order. One out. Carroll hitting 327, four extra base hits, all doubles. Gibson takes a lead at first base. Base is down at third. Crumb will come to the plate, low, runner going, throw down to third, runner back. So a stolen base for Gibson. Throw went down to third to chase Bays back. So you got runners at second and third again with one out. Fly ball to the outfield, could score a run. Wild pitch, could score a run. Count 1-0. and Carroll calls time, steps out. Walk, a walk, a wild pitch, a bunt single, an error. Then a good play by the third baseman to get an out at home. Squares to bunt, takes it low, 2-0. and oh. Bays was about halfway down the line at third and could do that because the third baseman was charging. You ideally want to bunt this down the first baseline if you can. Carroll steps out again. So third baseman, if the runner's on third coming, the third baseman feels it's got a lot better chance of making that flip like you saw a moment ago. Squares to bunt, swings and misses. Josh Sloan made that. Little flip, picked it up with the glove, flipped it to the catcher. Two balls and one strike. Still in at the corners in case he tries to bunt again. He squares to bunt. And he does, and he's going to pop it up. And they got the double play. Sure did. As they get it back to third and... Get him out. And if there was somebody covering second, they would have had him there if they wanted to. So that will go as a pop-up bunt. And then a double play on the throwback from three to five for the double play. Greenup County comes up with one run. They do it with one hit, one Johnson central error. And one man left on base. We go to the bottom of the second inning. And the score is Greenup County 1, Johnson Central nothing here on the Cool Hit Sports Network. When you shop and invest locally, you put in motion a sequence of actions which multiplies the money that is available in our area to create jobs and provide emergency services, police, and fire protection, as well as improving the quality of education in our local schools. Shop and invest locally whenever you can. 
First and People's Bank and Trust Company, member FDIC. We are the home office. Tres Hermanos Nunez has such a wide variety of authentic Mexican menu items. Appetizers, nachos, steak, chicken, seafood fajitas, chimichangas, tacos, burritos, quesadillas, mocajetes, vegetarian choices, a kid's menu, desserts and salads, all at affordable prices. For budget-pleasing, great-tasting Mexican food, Tres Hermanos Nunez is on your way in Ashland, Greenup, Grayson, Paintsville, Canova, South Point, Oliveville, and the newly remodeled interior of the Cannonsburg location, now open. Tres Hermanos Nunez. What are the keys to better health care? At SOMC, we start by putting it right at your fingertips. Now you can have a virtual visit with your SOMC provider right through your personal online patient portal. And with our convenient app, you can use your tablet or your smartphone to have a virtual visit safely just about anywhere. Ask your SOMC provider whether a virtual visit is right for you. Southern Ohio Medical Center. Very good things are happening here. You know, financial security begins at home with home ownership. If you've been putting off looking for a home because you think you can't afford it, you owe it to yourself to check out Members Choice Credit Union. Members Choice Credit Union has programs for first time home buyers and more to help put you in the home of your dreams. Call, click, or stop by Members Choice Credit Union today. Members Choice Credit Union, NMLS 411945, Equal Housing Lender. Call for additional information. Other restrictions may apply. Back here at uh, Johnson Central High School in Paintsville, we go to the bottom of the second inning. Greenup County up one nothing. It'll be the shortstop Ryan Sarton Sloan leading things off, hitting 438, two home runs, a triple, nine doubles, 21 RBIs. One of those home runs he hit at Greenup County in the People's Bank Tournament against Cabell Midland. Carroll ready, and the first pitch he bunts down the third baseline foul. Saul Hankins playing back, trying to bunt himself on. 0-1. Sarton Sloan, Pelfrey, and Spradlin do up for Johnson Central here in the second. Cam Carroll ready and the pitch upstairs, 1-1. One Has the sign from Bays and a 1 1 pitch. Outside, 2 and 1. Okay. 2 1 offering is popped up. And it's going to be out of play. Two and two. <laughs> Carroll ready and the two two pitch is swung on and fouled back to the backstop. Count stage two and two. Again, Carroll ready, winds, and the 2-2 offering. Swung on, line foul down the third baseline. Count stays 2-2. Two and two. Carroll ready, and the 2-2 pitch again. Swung on, lined in the left field for a base hit. Sarton Sloan with the first hit for Johnson Central and puts a leadoff man on base and brings up the first baseman, Keegan Pelfrey. Pelfrey hitting 269 on the year, one home run, six doubles.
Sergeant Sloan takes a lead. Carroll checks him. First pitch is a cold strike. Seven attempts, he's stolen six bases. He's going, here's the pitch, and it's foul. Hit and run was on. And the count 0-2 to Pelfrey. The right fielder spraddling on deck. Pelfrey steps back in, starting to Sloan takes a lead down at first. Carroll looks in the base for the sign, now checks the runner at first. And time called by Pelfrey, who steps out. Pitch upstairs. Fake throw down to first by Bays. Count one and two. Belfry steps back in. One ball, two strikes, throw over. Ooh, they got him. Sure did. Had him leaning to right, and he just threw it over, and Kitchen put the tag on him, so he's picked off over at first base. Well, each team has picked a man off now. So one out, nobody on. And the pitch is a swing and a miss. Gets away from the catcher. He'll have to throw it down. He does, and that's the second strikeout. For Carroll in the ball game, two down, and it brings up the right fielder, Spradlin. Hitting 263, three extra base hits, all doubles. First pitch just missed outside. Swung on, grounded foul down the third baseline. Count one and one. Carroll has a sign from base and a 1-1 delivery. Swing and a miss. Off-speed breaking ball on the inside part of the plate. Had him swinging. One and two. Misses outside and low with the fastball. Two and two. DH on deck if Spradley can get aboard. Swung on, and that's going to be lined to left field. Left fielder right there makes the catch. So no runs, one hit, no errors, nobody left on base. We've completed two. It's Greenup County 1, Johnson Central nothing here on the Cool Hit Sports Network. What are the keys to better health care? At SOMC, we start by putting it right at your fingertips. Now you can have a virtual visit with your SOMC provider right through your personal online patient portal. And with our convenient app, you can use your tablet or your smartphone to have a virtual visit safely just about anywhere. Ask your SOMC provider whether a virtual visit is right for you. Southern Ohio Medical Center. Very good things are happening here. You know, financial security begins at home with home ownership. If you've been putting off looking for a home because you think you can't afford it, you owe it to yourself to check out Members' Choice Credit Union. Members' Choice Credit Union has programs for first-time home buyers and more to help put you in the home of your dreams. 
Call, click, or stop by Members Choice Credit Union today. Members Choice Credit Union, NMLS 411945, Equal Housing Lender. Call for additional information. Other restrictions may apply. Top of the third inning here at Johnson Central High School. Greenup County leading Johnson Central by a score of 1-0. And for the Musketeers, it's the top of the order. To face Gavin Crum. Bradley Atkins DHing tonight for the third baseman Hankins. Strikeout victim in the first. First pitch is outside and low. Gets away from the catcher. 1-0. Atkins steps out. Now back in. Pitch is to the backstop. 2-0. Crumbs had a couple like that. Sort of got away from him. Here's a called strike. Fastball on the outside part of the plate. 2-1. and one. Atkins, Clarkson, and Wireman here in the third for Greenup County. Pitch, swing and a miss. Two and two. Atkins, just a seventh grader. And the pitch is low, three and two. Crumb ready, and the payoff pitch is swung on and grounded foul down the third baseline. Count stays full. Three and two. Payoff pitch is outside ball four. Fourth walk given up by Crumb in the ball game. Brings up Austin Clarkson, who singled to left field and then got picked off first base. Clarkson probably going to be called on to bunt in this situation, I would think. Bullpen activity. Waiting on the catcher, giving some equipment to somebody down in the bullpen. So Clarkson will step, step up. Third baseman will play in on the grass. Atkins takes a lead over at first base. Squares to bunt, takes a called strike. Good pitch to bunt, didn't bunt it. Oh and one. <laughs> Clarkson looking for the sign, and coach looks down at Coach Logan for the sign. He said, just hit it. Should have bunted that one. Here's the pitch. Strike two call. So Clarkson behind now on the count, 0 and two. Atkins takes his lead down at first base. Crumb checks him, comes set, and time called by Clarkson. Again, Atkins with the lead down at first base. Crumb comes set, and fake throw over to first. Chases Atkins back. Again, Crum comes set. Comes to the plate. Ground ball over the pitcher's head. Shortstop coming. Not going to be able to make a play. And they throw back behind Clarkson, but 
The throw is a little high, and he's able to slide in there safely. That'll be an infield hit. Or Atkins is able to slide back in there safely at second base. It's a high chopper over the pitcher's head. Shortstop had to come in and try to grab it. Was not going to get the speedy Clarkson. So for the second inning in a row, Greenup County has the first two on base. Last time only able to get one run out of it. Brings up Carson Weirman. He walked in the first inning. In at the corners, anticipating a bunt. And it gets away from the catcher to the backstop on a wild pitch, and that will move the runners up. So runners in scoring position at second and third with nobody out. Crum from the stretch. And the pitch swung on, fouled out of play. One and one to count to Wireman. Clevenger on deck. Pitch swing and a miss. One and two. Wireman a little late on that swing. Crumb ready. And the pitch is upstairs. Two and two. Atkins down at third. Clarkson at second. Nobody out. Two, two. And the pitch almost hit him. Driving him back. Three and two. That was close. So full count to Wireman. Crumb ready, comes set. And the payoff pitch swung on, fly ball. Right field, right fielder going back, makes the catch. Runners will tag, and it'll be a 2-0 ball game on the sacrifice fly RBI by Wireman. So make it 2-0 with Clarkson on down at third base and Clevenger coming up, a strikeout victim in the first. First pitch inside, ball one. One zero pitch, misses outside. Two and zero. Kitchen on deck. One out. Clarkson on down at third base, and the pitch is swung on. Ground ball to short. He'll go to first for the sure out as Clarkson comes in to score the third run of the ball game. So two down, bases empty, two runs in, and it brings up Brock Kitchen who walked and scored in the second. First pitch is outside, ball one. Pitch up, upstairs and outside, 2 0. Crumb ready and the 2 0 pitch. Swung on, grounder over the pitcher's head. Shortstop has it, comes up throwing, plenty of time, got him. Greenham County comes up with two runs. They do it on one hit, no errors, and 
one, nobody left on base. We go to the bottom of the third inning. Greenup County three, Johnson Central nothing. Here on the Cool Hits Sports Network. Stop by any of the four convenient locations in Monroe Collision for an insurance estimate after an accident and let them explain how you can get back into your vehicle sooner. Owner Kevin Monroe will discuss your options in their state-of-the-art facilities. Monroe's repairs are backed by a lifetime warranty. You'll drive away protected and happy. Ask about their free loaner car. For the best in repair, see the people who care in Portsmouth, Jackson, Chillicothe, or Ashland. Monroe's frame and collision. Our work says it all. With 48,000 square feet of showroom, Manning Furniture is filled with unbelievable savings with sofas as low as $299 and up. Shop from home. Go online to manningfurnitureky.com. Look under brands. Call Manning for pricing. Place special orders through Manning and get 10% off. Voted best store to buy furniture. Manning Furniture is open 10 to 6 Monday through Saturday and Sundays 1 to 4. Located at 1601 U.S. Route 60, just 10 miles west of Ashland. Call 606-928-53. 308. Bottom of the third inning. And for Johnson Central will be 7, 8, 9. Mason Kessner, Brock Bowling, and Josh Loon to face Cam Carroll. The D.H. Kessner will lead things off. Hitting 220 on the year. A couple of extra base hits, both of them doubles. Right-handed hitter. Left field now pretty much in shade, shade over the plate, but the pitcher's mound still in sunshine, and the first pitch is a called strike. Pitch misses upstairs, one and one. Off-speed pitch misses outside, two and one. Two big games for Johnson Central tomorrow here at home. Pitch misses low, three and one. I'm assuming they're playing two. Pikeville and Lafayette. Lafayette, of course, we saw last week at the Fayette Invitational. Here's a ground ball hit sharply to short. And a long throw across the diamond by Wireman, and there's one away. Ranked ninth in the state. Lafayette is. And Pikeville's got a pretty good team, too. Those games here at Johnson Central. One away. And that brings up the left fielder, Brock Bowling. Bowling hitting 262. Ground ball up the middle, base hit. Second hit of the ball game, first ball hitting. Single to center field, and that brings up the third baseman, Josh Sloan. Hitting 425. Two doubles. Runner at first, one out. Pitch, squares to bunt, bunts it foul. Back behind the plate. Top of the order, Matt Crum on deck for Johnson Central. One pitch upstairs, one and one. Yes, 
Bowling takes a lead down at first base. Carroll looks into base for the sign. Comes set. Comes to the plate. Swung on. Fly ball left field. Fielder going back. Has plenty of room. Makes the catch. And there's two away. That'll bring up the top of the order. Matt Crum. Who grounded out first to pitcher in the first inning. Two down, runner at first base. Here in the bottom of the third inning. Greenup County up 3 0. Carroll's first pitch, that is lined into left field for a base hit. Clevenger there to get it and get it back in in a hurry. But runners at first and second here in the third now. And again, first ball hitting. Brings up the catcher, Brock Butcher, a strikeout victim in the first. 0 for 1. Runner in scoring position down at second base. First pitch, good pitch, breaking ball right across the inside part of the plate, strike one. Runners take their lead at first and second. Carroll comes set. And the pitch inside. One and one. Had him bailing, but tried to break in, just didn't get there. Carroll ready in one one pitch, swing and a miss, throw down the first. And I'm telling you what, Brock Kitchen just made an incredible catch because he was falling down and was able to reach up and catch that or a run would have scored because that would have been definitely down the right field line. He just slipped and was able to reach out and catch that ball. Near disaster there. Pitch, breaking ball, stays inside. Again, bailing out. Two balls, two strikes, two on, two out. Carroll ready, and the pitch swung on, high chopper towards second. Second baseman has it, going to have to hurry, and does, and that will end the inning. For Johnson Central in the third, no runs, two hits, no errors, and two left on base. We go to the top of the fourth inning. It's Greenup County 3, Johnson Central nothing here on the Cool Hits Sports Network. You've thought for a long time about keeping your firearms and valuables safe and out of harm's way. Border Sporting Goods has the area's greatest selection of Liberty safes and a wide range of sizes, styles, and colors. And Borders also has the Tri-State's best and most complete selection of firearms, hunting supplies, fishing supplies, archery supplies, knives, camo, and boots. From the smallest fishing hook to the largest Liberty safe, the best brands, the best selection, and the best prices in the Tri-State are at Borders Sporting Goods. Route 60 West in Ashland, where your money will be well spent. I can't believe the house is ours. Finally, freedom. Today's the day, my own business. These are the moments you'll remember forever when a bank becomes more than a checking account or loan. At People's Bank, our core difference is providing you peace of mind and confidence in your financial life. By asking the right questions and working with you, we earn your business. Together, we're building financial success one special moment at a time. People's Bank, working together, building success. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Back here at Johnson Central, we go to the top of the fourth inning. Through three, Greenup County, three runs on three hits. No errors, two left on base. Johnson Central, no runs on three hits. One error and two left on base. For Greenup County here in the fourth, it'll be Underwood, Bays, and Gibson. Do up. Underwood walked in the second inning. Yeah. 
bullpen activity last inning, but Crum is going to stay out there. Rainham County back in action tomorrow against Portsmouth West at home. Your schedule says 5 o'clock, but that has been moved to a noon start. First pitch is a called strike to Underwood. So that's a 12 o'clock start tomorrow at Greenup County because they're uh, having the prom tomorrow night. Can't have the prom and baseball going on at the same time inside. So they moved it to a noon start, 11.45 pregame on the Cool Hits My Town TV Sports Network. 1-1 one, one pitch, swung on, ground ball, hit sharply towards second and through into center field. Second baseman going over towards second base in the short grass trying to make a backhand, but it got through. That'll be a hit. That'll bring up Logan Bays, who had a bunt single, went to second on an error. And... Boggs will come in to run for Underwood. Bays, who had a bunt single and then a bad throw by the pitcher, allowed him to go to second base and a run to score back in the second inning. Matthew Boggs running down at first, and Bay squaring to bunt takes it inside and high. Third baseman in on the grass. First baseman holding Boggs at first base. Infield looking uh, shortstop and second baseman at double play depth. And he squares to bunt, takes a strike, throw down to first, not in time. Count one and one to Logan Bays. Crum ready. And the pitch, and he hits it to the shortstop. Shortstop's going to have to try to make the play himself, and he gets the out at second, but not at first. The second baseman had charged before, be, with the bunt coming, and so the shortstop made the play, Sarton Sloan, and then was going to have to run to the bag, and he got there in time to get the force out, but the throw to first not in time. So Bay's on with the fielder's choice on the six unassisted at second base, and that brings up Gibson, who reached on the fielder's choice on the bunt that they threw out the man at the plate. He squares to bunt and takes a strike. On a good play by the third baseman Sloan, who caught it, flipped it, at home plenty of time to get the out. Pitch swung on, popped up foul back behind the plate. 0-2. Carroll on deck. One out, one on. Pitch swung on, grounded to second. Over the pitcher's head, they'll go to short for one, back to first, and that's a good, easy double play. Four, six, three to get out of the inning. For Greenup County in the fourth, no runs, one hit, no errors. And nobody left on base. We go to the bottom of the fourth inning. It's still Greenup County three, Johnson Central nothing. 
here on the Cool Hit Sports Network. Quality Marathon Gasoline. Great monthly specials on snacks and beverages and fantastic service. Those are the qualities of Clark's Pump and Chops. You'll find a Clark's Pump and Chop near you in the Bluegrass State and beyond. And Rick and Brent Clark want you to know that they take pride in giving you the best prices and service, and they thank you for your patronage. Clark's Pump and Chops are a division of the John W. Clark Oil Company. Clark's Pump and Chops. Return. Refresh. Refuel. If you're looking for a complete discount pharmacy with old-fashioned service and excellent prices, look no more. Since 1979, Stultz Pharmacy has provided our area with the finest in pharmacy care. 24-hour emergency prescription service, free delivery, and drive through service for prescriptions. Stultz Pharmacy continues to fill all of your expectations, and they carry a nice selection of gift items. Stop by Stultz Pharmacy today in Greenup and Wheelersburg. More than you expect from a pharmacy. Stultz Pharmacy. Experience the plus side of health care at Primary Plus. Primary Plus has seven locations throughout the region, including offices in Ashland, South Shore, Vanceburg, Tolesboro, and Flemingsburg. Offering complete care for the entire family, including primary care, pediatrics, women's health, dental, and on-site pharmacies, plus the convenience of evening hours, affordable pricing, and a patient-centered medical team. Primary Plus is always welcoming new patients. Learn more at primaryplus.net. You know, financial security begins at home with home ownership. If you've been putting off looking for a home because you think you can't afford it, you owe it to yourself to check out Members' Choice Credit Union. Members' Choice Credit Union has programs for first-time home buyers and more to help put you in the home of your dreams. Call, click, or stop by Members Choice Credit Union today. Members Choice Credit Union, NMLS 411945, Equal Housing Lender. Call for additional information. Other restrictions may apply. Back here at Johnson Central as we go to the bottom of the fourth inning. Three, four, and five due up for the Golden Eagles. It'll be LeMaster, Sarton, Sloan, and Pelfrey. LeMaster flew out to center field to end the first inning. 0 for 1. And the first pitch is a called strike on an off-speed pitch. Change up. Swung on, fouled back to the backstop. 0-2. Carroll ready and the 0-2 delivery. Swung on, fouled back to the netting. Count stays 0-2. Master left-handed hitter, count 0-2. Carroll ready, and the pitch swung on, fly ball left field. And Clevenger's there, makes the catch, one away. Now to bring up Ryan Sarton Sloan, the shortstop, singled to left field in the second inning and then got picked off on a really good move by Carroll. One out, nobody on for Johnson Central here in the fourth. First pitch, grounded right back up the middle, past the pitcher into center field for a base hit. Sarton Sloan, two for two. Runner at first base, one out. Brings up Keegan Pelfrey, a strikeout victim in the second. Greenup County got a run in the second, two in the third. Lead it here 3 nothing 
And Johnson Central threatening with a runner at first and good stop by Bays, the catcher there on the backhand at the plate. Well, that would have went to the backstop. Sartan Sloan takes a lead at first base. Carroll checks him. He'll throw over and he's back. Pitch, runner going or started to go, doesn't go. Now he will because the ball goes to the backstop. So runner in scoring position. At second base on the wild pitch by Carroll. Count 2-0 and oh to Pelfrey. Going to step out. One out, runner at second base. Carroll ready. Comes to the plate, swung on, fly ball, left field, deep. That one's going, and it's out of here. Two-run home run by Keegan Pelfrey. And makes it a 3-2 ball game. So just like that, just a one-run ball game. Base is empty, one out, and that brings up Chandler Spradlin, who flew out to left field on the second inning, 0 for 1. That went right over the 335 mark in the power alley. Carroll ready, and the first pitch misses outside, ball one. Got LeMaster to fly out. Sarton Sloan singled, went to second on a wild pitch, and then Pelfrey with a two-run home run. Breaking ball stays upstairs. 2-0. and oh. Pitch, low, 3-0. and oh. So Carroll might be... A little bit rattled there by that home run. Has now gone three and zero oh to Spradlin, and Steve Logan's going to go out and talk to him. Exactly what he sees. So he'll go out and talk to his pitcher, give him some encouragement. Portsmouth West tomorrow. 12 o'clock noon, again, your schedule might say 5 o'clock, but that's 12 noon. We'll be on the air at 1145 with the pregame show. Next week, weather permitting, because they're showing rain Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, but weather permitting right back down here at Paintsville on Monday to take on Paintsville. And then Tuesday at home against Wheelersburg, Wednesday at Lawrence County. Take Thursday and Friday off of next week and then head to Rowan County a week from tomorrow and play a doubleheader. Play Rowan County at 11 and Hazard at 1.30. Then the last week of the season, the week of the 24th, Paintsville at home on Monday, back to Lawrence County again, and then at East Carter on Thursday of that week. Here's the pitch as the meeting breaks up, and Carroll puts it right across the plate for a called strike. Three and one. Strike two is a swing and a miss at a high fastball. And the pitch swing and a foul back to the netting. Count stays full. It appears now that the 63rd District Tournament, which is going to be played at Raceland, was going to be played on the 31st and the 1st, two games on the 31st Memorial Day, then the championship game on the 1st of June. But now it appears all three games are going to be played on Memorial Day. Two that morning or morning, early afternoon, come back with the championship game that night. 
Curveball breaks but stays a little bit upstairs. He walked him. First walk given up in the ball game by Carroll. And that was a good pitch. Just stayed upstairs a little bit. Brings up the DH. Mason Kessner grounded out to shortstop in the third inning. 0 for 1. One out, one on, two runs in. Here in the fourth inning for Johnson Central, they've cut the lead to one. Tying a run down at first base. The first pitch is a called strike on the outside part of the plate. That's well, not set yet on the 63rd district, but that's what they're talking about all three games on Memorial Day. Pitch swung on, ground ball hit to third. Third baseman has it, will go to second, not in time. The play was to go to first. That ball took a really high hop. No way in the world Hankins was going to get the runner at second base. He had a little trouble getting it out of his glove. And that's just lack of experience for the eighth grader down there at third base. So Kester will be on with the fielder's choice and runners at first and second. Tying run now down at second base, and that brings up the left fielder, Brock Bowling, who singled to center field in the third inning, one for one. Johnson Central having a big inning here in the fourth. They've already scored two. They got two on with only one out, and the first pitch is a called strike. Bowling steps out to get the sign, now steps back in. Runners take their lead at first and second. Squares to bunt, does bunt it, and it's foul. It's a hit out in front of the plate, bounce right back behind the plate. The count now 0-2. Regional tournament, 16th regional tournament this year will be played at Ashland. Supposed to start Monday the 7th, but I think they're going to start it on the 5th on Saturday and try to play three or four games. Here's a pitch that misses upstairs, one and two. First round of the state tournament played in sections is Saturday the 12th. Here's a ground ball hit in the left field for a base hit. That will score the tying run. And the throw comes home and it's overthrown and that means the runners will move on. So we got a tie ball game on an RBI single by Bowling. And then an error on the throw to allow the runners to move to second and third. And that brings up the third baseman, Josh Sloan, who flew out to left field in the third inning. Squares to bunt, bunts it back to the pitcher who has it. He'll throw the first after he checked the runner at third. And there's two down. Good play by Carroll to check to make sure the runner wasn't coming and get the out with second baseman Gibson covering at the bag. So that will go one to four for the put out. And that'll bring up Matt Crum who has grounded out First to pitcher covering and single to left field. First pitch is a swing and a miss. 0 and 1. A 
one pitch, swung on, fly ball. Center field. Clarkson going over, has room, makes a catch, and that'll end the inning. But a big fourth inning for Johnson Central as they come up with three runs on three hits. One Greenup County error and two left on base. We've completed four, and we're tied. It's Greenup County three, Johnson Central three here on the Cool Hit Sports Network. Experience the plus side of healthcare at Primary Plus. Primary Plus has seven locations throughout the region, including offices in Ashland, South Shore, Vansburg, Tolesboro, and Flemingsburg, offering complete care for the entire family, including primary care, pediatrics, women's health, dental, and on-site pharmacies, plus the convenience of evening hours, affordable pricing, and a patient-centered medical team. Primary Plus is always welcoming new patients. Learn more at primaryplus.net. Net. You know, financial security begins at home with home ownership. If you've been putting off looking for a home because you think you can't afford it, you owe it to yourself to check out Members Choice Credit Union. Members Choice Credit Union has programs for first time home buyers and more to help put you in the home of your dreams. Call, click, or stop by Members Choice Credit Union today. Members Choice Credit Union, NMLS 411945, Equal Housing Lender. Call for additional information. Other restrictions may apply. A lot of folks are paying their bills online. It's safe, accurate, and very convenient. If you would like to know more about banking online, stop by the bank and we can get you going. Cutting edge technology with a first name, friendly hometown personal touch. First in People's Bank and Trust Company, member FDIC. We are the home office. Back here at Johnson Central High School as we go to the top of the fifth inning through four. Greenup County, three runs, four hits, one error, two left on base. Johnson Central, three runs, six, hit, six hits, one error, and four left on base. In the fifth, it'll be 9-1-2, and two, Carol Atkins and Clarkson. Carroll popped up into a double play trying to bunt back in the second inning. Crum stays on the mound for Johnson Central and the first pitch is a called strike. Top of the fifth inning, 3-3 ball game. Swing and a miss, strike two. Crum ready and the pitch. Strike three called at the knees right down the heart of the plate. Strikeout number three in the ball game for Crum. Brings up the top of the order, Bradley Atkins, who has struck out, walked, and scored. First pitch, swing, and a miss. High fastball. A one pitch, low one and one. Crumb steps off now back on the rubber. Atkins waits in a one one pitch upstairs to the backstop, two and one. Went out, nobody on here at the top of the fifth of a 3-3 ball game. Pitch swung on and missed, two and two. Crum ready, winds, and the 2-2 pitch is in the dirt, three and two. Payoff pitch, swung on, popped up right side. First baseman giving chase over towards the dugout and drops it. 
had it for a moment. One of the coaches trying to get out of the way, and I think gloved hand hit him on the shoulder and caused the ball to fall out. So Atkins stays alive. Payoff pitch once again, called strike three, caught looking. Strikeout number four in the ball game. And that brings up Austin Clarkson, who has singled and then got picked off first and then had an infield hit and scored in the third inning. Two for two. First pitch swung on, foul back. 0 and 1. Crumb ready, and he squares to bunt and missed it. 0 and 2. Two down, nobody on here in the fifth inning for Greenup County. Clarkson with an 0-2 count, Crum ready, and the 0-2 pitch jammed him, puts it right back off, and it goes off of the pitcher's foot. He picks it up. He's going to try to throw, not in time. And again, that'll be an infield hit. Actually, the ball was going up the middle, and the pitcher just sort of threw his foot out there, and it actually went off of it. He went over and retrieved it, fell down, tried to make a throw, but Clarkson had already beat that out. So it brings up Wireman, who has walked and had a sacrifice fly RBI. Officially 0 for 0 with an RBI. Clarkson on down at first base with two down. Wireman takes the first pitch upstairs, ball one. Clarkson with the lead at first base. Crum checks him. Comes set. 1-0 pitch. Strike call. Throw down. Runner there. one and one to count. Crum again checks Clarkson over at first base. He'll come to the plate, runner going. Here comes the throw, not going to be in time, stolen base. So to count two and one to Wireman, and man in scoring position for Clarkson, that is his 11th steal and 13 attempts this year. 2-1 pitch. Misses outside, 3-1. Clevenger on deck. Go ahead, run down at second. Crum ready, checks Clarkson back at second base in the 3-1 pitch, a swung on foul. 3-2. Crum checks the runner, and Wireman calls time as Crum taking too much time. Wireman steps back in. Clarkson takes his lead down at second. Three balls, two strikes, two outs. Crum sets, comes to the plate. 3-2 pitch, swung on, grounded to third. 
Third baseman has it, long throw in time. And that'll end the inning. For Greenup County in the fifth, no runs, one hit, no errors, one left on base. We go to the bottom of the fifth inning. It's still Greenup County three, Johnson Central three, here on the Cool Hit Sports Network. A lot of folks are paying their bills online. It's safe, accurate, and very convenient. If you would like to know more about banking online, stop by the bank and we can get you going. Cutting edge technology with a first name, friendly hometown personal touch. First in People's Bank and Trust Company, member FDIC. We are the home office. What are the keys to better health care? At SOMC, we start by putting it right at your fingertips. Now you can have a virtual visit with your SOMC provider right through your personal online patient portal. And with our convenient app, you can use your tablet or your smartphone to have a virtual visit safely just about anywhere. Ask your SOMC provider whether a virtual visit is right for you. Southern Ohio Medical Center, very good things are happening here. Bottom of the fifth inning here at Johnson Central, 3-3 ball game. And for Johnson Central, it'll be 2-3-4 and four to face Cam Carroll. Brock Butcher, Connor LeMaster, Ryan Sarton, Sloan do up. Greenup County scored a run in the second, two in the third. All three of Johnson Central's runs came in the fourth. Butcher will lead things off. A strikeout victim in the first, grounded out to second in the third, 0 for 2 in the ballgame. Johnson Central home tomorrow against Lafayette and Pikeville in a doubleheader. Greenham County at home at noon against Portsmouth West. First pitch is a called strike. Carroll ready and the 0 1 pitch is in the dirt to the backstop, 1 and 1. One pitch, misses outside, two and one. Carroll has walked one. He has struck out two. Here's a ground ball hit to third. Third baseman can handle it. And that'll be an error on the third baseman. Tried to short hop it. Couldn't do it. Knocked it down is all he could do. So leadoff man on base for Johnson Central here in the fifth. And that brings up Connor LeMaster who flew out to left field in the first inning and flew out to left field in the fourth inning. 0 for 2. 3-3 three, three ball game runs are really important. So let's see if they're going to try to bun him over. Throw over and the runner back. <coughs> Again, Carroll's got that quick release when before the runner gets set. Does square to bunt and bunts it foul on a line drive down the third baseline. 0 and 1. Runner takes a lead down at first base. Throw over, runner back. Mm -hmm. 
It's Cameron Kelsey who's running for the catcher. Throw over again. He's diving back in. Oh, one pitch, swing and a miss. Oh, and two. No balls, two strikes. Runner at first. Pitch swung on, foul. Out of play. Count stays. Oh, and two. Sundown, clear sky, getting chilly. 0-2 to count. Throw over, close, but you got to have the ball. <laughs> Kitchen sort of dropped it. O2 pitch, gets away from the catcher, runner heads down to second. So the go-ahead run at second base for Johnson Central here in the fifth. And to count one ball and two strikes to LeMaster. That pitch sort of fooled Bays, I think. One-two pitch, swung on, fly ball, center field. That's hit well. And it's going to be over the head of Clarkson and off the fence. And the throw will come in. They're going to send the runner. They got to play at the plate. And he is out. Good play by Clarkson off the fence, throwing it to the shortstop. Shortstop back to the catcher. And he's out. The runner goes to second on the throw. That, we'll just give him a double. That's going to be a double to deep center field. But. Eight to six to two for the put out at the plate. And we're still tied 3-3. But that brings up Ryan Sarton Sloan, who has singled and got picked off and singled again and scored. He's two for two. We have had bullpen activity for Greenup County, and we're going to have a pitching change, I believe. Yes, that's going to be it for Carroll. As the Dakota Tool is going to come in, well, I don't know if he's going to come in to play first base maybe, and Carroll's going to stay on the mound. Underwood, no, Underwood's going to go to the bullpen to catch So I don't know if we're making a pitching change or not. Kitchen went and changed gloves. Tool came out of the bullpen, but he usually either either is going to pitch or play first. There's been no decision yet. Well, Tool's going to go to first base. Carroll's going to stay on the mound. So Brock Kitchen is going to go to second base. Tool's going to come in and play first. Gibson probably left second. It's going to the bullpen probably. First pitch misses outside ball one to Sarton Sloan. So Tool comes in to replace Gibson, who was at second base. Kitchen goes from first to second. Tool goes to first. Pitch low, 2-0. And, oh. and I would say that 
part of the plan out there also on that discussion is to not give Sartre and Sloan anything good to hit. Been outside and then low. But you got Pelfrey behind him who already has a two-run home run. And now I think you will make the change as Coach Logan will go back out. Now I'm telling you what, it's, it's Wireman who's warming up the bullpen as Gibson went to shortstop. So on that last move, Tool came in to replace Wireman. Gibson went from second to short. Kitchen went from first to second. Tool went to first. Wireman went to the bullpen. Started warming up. Let Carroll pitch a couple of pitches. And comes back out to delay a little bit more to give Wireman more time at the bullpen and probably to tell Carroll once again not to give Sartin Sloan anything good to hit. He's two for two. And the go-ahead run is at second base with one out. 2-0 to count. Pitch, strike called, two and one. Off-speed pitch. <laughs> Carroll ready, stretch. And the pitch swung on, fly ball hit deep to left field, but Clevenger has room, makes the catch, and there's two down. So the go-ahead run stays down at second base, and it brings up Kagan Pelfrey, or Keegan Pelfrey, excuse me, who struck out in the second inning, but hit a two-run home run in the fourth. And they're going to walk him. Intentional walk. Second walk given up by Carroll. This one's intentional. Puts runners at first and second. As Coach Logan going to play the percentages here and bring up the right fielder, Chandler Spradlin, who has flown out to left and walked. So the go-ahead run down at second base with two downs. Also a runner at first. And the first pitch is a swing and a miss. Gets away from the catcher. There's going to be a play at third, and they got him. Yes, sir. That'll end the inning. So Johnson Central threatens, but they can't score. They come up with no runs on one hit, no errors, and one left on base. We go to the sixth inning, and we're still tied. Greenup County 3, Johnson Central 3, here on the Cool Hits Sports Network. Oh no, when that happens, bring your vehicle to Monroe Collision, where owner Kevin Monroe will discuss how best to repair your damage. Let Kevin tell you about their pre-work process and how Monroe Collision will work with your insurance company directly to get you back into your vehicle much sooner. Kevin makes it easy to do because he cares about you and will get you back on the road happy and with a lifetime warranty. Stop by their convenient locations, Sportsman, Jackson, Chillicothe, or Ashland. With 48,000 square feet of showroom, Manning Furniture is filled with unbelievable savings with sofas as low as $299 and up. Shop from home. Go online to manningfurnitureky.com. Look under brands. Call Manning for pricing. Place special orders through Manning and get 10% off. Voted best store to buy furniture. Manning Furniture is open 10 to 6 Monday through Saturday and Sundays 1 to 4. Located at 1601 U.S. Route 60, just 10 miles west of Ashland. Call 606-928-5000. 308. Back here at Johnson Central, we go to the top of the sixth inning through five. 
Greenup County, three runs on five hits, one error, and three left on base. Johnson Central, three runs on seven hits, one error, and five left on base. And for Greenup County here in the sixth, it'll be Clevenger, Kitchen, and Underwood do up, or maybe Boggs, who came in for him, I think. Clevenger, 0 for 2. Struck out in the first, grounded out to short with a run scoring in the third. And he looks at the first pitch ball one from Gavin Crum. 1-0 pitch, strike call, outside, letter high. 1-1. One one. One, one pitch. Outside, two and one. Johnson Central had bullpen activity back in the third inning, but they've stayed with Crum. Two one pitch. Swung on ground ball into center field for a base hit. Lead off man on base. Sixth hit of the ball game for Greenup County. Had a hit every inning so far. Brings up Brock Kitchen, who has walked and scored and grounded out to short. 0 for 1. Clevenger takes a lead at first base. Third baseman in on the grass, anticipating a bunt. Kitchen swings, fly ball, center field. Center fielder going back, going back over his head. Clevenger will round second. He'll head for third, and he's going to hold up at third as Kitchen has a double to center field. He hit that one well. So back-to-back -back hits, a single and a double, and Greenup County has the go-ahead run at third base and two runners in scoring position. And Boggs, who was going to bat, but Underwood's going to re-enter and bat. So Underwood, who was walked and singled to center, will re-enter. Nobody out. Clevenger with a leadoff single, and then Kitchen with a double. Clevenger had to wait to see if the center fielder was going to get to it as he had a jump on it and was heading back, but couldn't get there. It was over his head, and now coach is going to come out for Johnson Central, meet with his infield and his pitcher. And talk about all the strategies here. Nobody was in the bullpen. Now they are going to the bullpen. And I believe that is Bryce Spencer who's going to the bullpen. Twenty-three and twelves down there. Hunter Blevins and Bryce Spencer. Infield in. Runners at second and third. Nobody out. Top of the six. Three-three ball game. Underwood at the plate. Crum ready, and the first pitch is a called strike. Zero oh and one. Oh, one pitch. Swung on, fouled. Over towards the first base dugout. And quickly, Crum ahead of Underwood, 0-2. Oh Infield in on the grass, trying to protect 
not let that run score. Here's the pitch, swing and a miss. He struck him out. Strikeout number five, and that brings up Logan Bays, who has a bunt single and reached on the fielder's choice, one for two. Infield still in on the grass with one out. First pitch, breaking ball off speed, called strike one. Crumb comes set, the pitch, swing and a miss, strike two. So a single, a double, runners at second and third, and then Underwood strike out, strikes out, and now Bays behind 0-2. So Bays steps out, looks down to Coach Logan. Now steps back in, Crum ready. Checks the runners and the 0-2 pitch outside. Pops away from the catcher, but not very far. Nobody can go anywhere. <coughs> Count one and two. That was a fastball. Let's see if he comes back with that off-speed changeup or breaking ball. One, two. Nope, fastball missed again. Two and two. Field in on the grass. Crum. Ready, come set. 2-2 two -two pitch. Change up, hit center field. That might score a run. They're going to send him. And here comes the throw, and it's off the mark, and he scores. It was down the third base line, a little short, and Clevenger scores on the sacrifice fly by Bays. Greenup County regains the lead at four to three here in the sixth. And it brings up Jonah Gibson with a runner down at second base in the person of Brock Kitchen. Gibson reached on the fielder's choice and hit into a four six three double play. He steps out after getting the sign from Coach Logan. Crumb ready, and they'll try to pick Kitchen off, but the throw was to the first base side of the bag. Kitchen easily gets back. Two down, Kitchen down at second base. And the pitch squares to bunt, takes a strike. 0 and 1. He was bunting there, was to try and get himself on with two outs because bunting the runner over and getting sacrificing yourself, not going to help anything. Again, they'll try. Throw back to second, Kitchen easily back. <laughs> oh, and one. Oh, one pitch, squares to bunt, bunts it down the first baseline. Catcher's going to have to hurry, does, throws, got it. Adeline the inning. Good bunt, though. She tries to bunt himself on. 
And that will go two to three. Greenup County does come up with one run on two hits. No errors and one left on base. We go to the bottom of the sixth inning. Greenup County four, Johnson Central three here on the Cool Hits Sports Network. Hello, I'm Michael Bowling, Senior Vice President of Kentucky Farmers Bank. When you do business with Kentucky Farmers Bank, you're making an investment in your community. Your money stays local, we never sell your loan, and in turn, we invest in local families, churches, schools, and charities. We believe in our community, and that's why we are the better bank for loans. Kentucky Farmers Bank, the better bank for loans since 1931. Located in Ashland, Summit, and Catlettsburg. KentuckyFarmersBank.com, member FDI I see an equal housing lender. Quality Marathon Gasoline. Great monthly specials on snacks and beverages and fantastic service. Those are the qualities of Clark's Pump and Chops. You'll find a Clark's Pump and Chop near you in the Bluegrass State and beyond. And Rick and Brent Clark want you to know that they take pride in giving you the best prices and service, and they thank you for your patronage. Clark's Pump and Chops are a division of the John W. Clark Oil Company. Clark's Pump and Chops. Return. Refresh. Refuel. Pitching change for Greenup County here in the sixth inning as Carson Wireman will come in to pitch for Cam Carroll. Carroll goes five innings, gives up three runs, seven hits. He walked two and he struck out two. Wireman has pitched 38 and two-thirds innings, given up 27 hits, 16 runs, only eight of them earned. He has walked 15, struck out 53, has an ERA of 1.45. He will come in here to pitch the sixth and seventh and try to hold Johnson Central at bay with a one-run lead that Carroll gives him coming in. And for Johnson Central here in the sixth, it'll be Spradlin, Kessner, and Bowling, six, seven, eight. Spradlin has flown out to left field and has walked and scored. And the first pitch is a swing and a miss. Oh, one pitch, swing and a miss. 0-2. Oh, Wireman ready in the 0-2 oh, pitch. Just missed. That's a good pitch. One ball, two strikes. Wyman ready, winds, and a 1-2 is swung on and fouled off and out of play. Count stays 1-2. Wyman ready and a 1-2 delivery. Misses outside 2-2. Two and two. Wireman winds and the 2-2 pitch swung on, popped up foul. Back to the net. Count stays two and two. Kester of the DH on deck. Two-two delivery. Swing and a miss, but it gets away, and he's going to get on because there's no way he's going to get there. He really, really got him with that breaking ball, but it got away from Bays. So he had him out there way in front of a pitch that probably would have been a ball if he hadn't swung at it. So that will go as a strikeout, but an E2. And... Therefore, no out. The runner at first base, which is the tying run. That brings up Kessner, who squares to bunt, but Wireman throws over the first runner back.
Kessner has grounded out to short, reached on the fielder's choice, 0 for 2. Throw over, runner back. Hankins in on the grass at third, anticipating a possible bunt to get that runner over in scoring position. Here's the pitch, called strike. 0-1. Pitch swung on, ground ball, hit to the shortstop. Has it, steps on the bag, throws to second, dropped it, picked it back up. Nope, couldn't handle it. Just got one. So he should have had a strikeout, didn't get that. Should have had a double play, didn't get that. Wireman not real happy right now. Well, Kester will be on with the fielder's choice on the six unassisted force out. One out, runner at first. And it brings up Brock Bowling, the left fielder, who has singled twice in this ballgame. And got a courtesy runner coming in or a pinch runner. That's Cameron Kelsey, who is in to run. Not a bad throw that time, really, by Carroll. His kitchen stretching and just could not hang on to it and then tried to pick it back up, but it wasn't in time. Throw to first, runner back. Pitch, strike called. 0 and 1. A one pitch in the dirt, but Bays keeps it in front of him. 1 and 1. We're in the bottom of the sixth inning. Greenup County up 4-3. Johnson Central, one out, one on. Down at first base, and the count one and one to Brock Bowling. And the pitch is outside, two and one. Throw the first runner back. Wyman checks the runner at first again. Comes to the plate, swung on, fly ball. Center field, Clarkson on the move, not going to get there. That one's hit off the wall. Clarkson going to have to get in again. They're probably going to hold the runner at third as there's a play at second, but not in time. And Bowling is three for three in this ball game as he hits a double to deep center field. And now the tying run is at third. The go-ahead run is at second with only one out. And it brings up Josh Lone, the third baseman. He has flown out to left and grounded out or bunted back to the pitcher and got thrown out. Pitch is Mrs. Lowe, ball one. Go, 
Fly ball to the outfield, can score a tying run. Base hit could give Johnson Central the lead. Here's the pitch, strike called. One and one. For Carson Wireman in Greenup County, a strikeout would be huge. It takes the sacrifice fly out of play. Pitch outside, two and one. Looks like we got a bonfire out in left field. Some kind of fire. Se senior bonfire. Here's a pitch swing and a foul tip into the catcher's mitt. Two and two. Some of that heat come that way, this way, it'd be all right, wouldn't it? Huh? <laughs> two and two to count. Wireman checks the runners. Infield in. And the 2 2 pitch just missed. Good pitch. The batter actually ducked a little bit, and I think that made the umpire think it was high. It was really a good pitch. Three and two. Payoff pitch. Swung on, fouled out of play. Count stays three and two. Three two pitch, swung on, fly ball, center field, gonna fall for a base hit. And we're tied at four. So an RBI single. Brings home the tying run, and the go-ahead run is down at third. Still only one out, runners at the corners. For the top of the order, Matt Crum, who is grounded out first to pitcher covering, singled, and flew out. One for three. Squares to bunt, misses. Strike one. What's he asking? There's just one out. Yeah. <laughs> All in one to count. One out. Yeah. <laughs> One out. to count. Now everybody knows there's only one out. Here's the pitch. He bunts. Foul. 0-2. Oh the go-ahead run here in the bottom of the sixth inning is down at third base. Runners at first and third with one out. 4-4 four, four ball game. 0-2 oh to Matt Crum, the leadoff hitter. Catcher Brock Butcher on deck. Throw the first runner back. Ready. 
Pitch, swing and a miss at a breaking ball. Struck him out. That was a good pitch. His first, actually his second strikeout, team's fourth. Two down, it brings up Brock Butcher, who has struck out, grounded out to second, and reached on an air on the third baseman. 0 for 3 in the ball game. Runner at third, runner at first, two down. The runner at third is the go-ahead run in a 4-4 ball game. Pitch gets away from the catcher, but not very far. Nobody can go anywhere. I think he called that a ball, I think. Or did he call it a strike, did he? Strike. 0-1. See if they send the runner at first. He's going. Here's the pitch, and it's a ball. And the run's going to come in. Sure did. Forced him to balk because he took off running before he came set. And he didn't come set. So they got exactly what they wanted that time. They got Weirman to balk. As they sent him really early. And you're trying to do two things in that situation, to get a balk, which they got, or to make the pitcher try to get him in a rundown and get the run to score, which you see a lot of teams do, including Greenup County, sometimes successfully. But they score this time with a balk. And this pitch is a strike and it's one and two. So Johnson Central now with the lead, 5-4. And time called by Butcher. If you're looking ahead to the seventh for Greenup County, it's nine, one and two due up. One, two, misses, two and two. Two-two pitch, strike three called on a breaking ball, caught him looking. Ends up striking out the side, but gives up two runs on two hits. One Greenup County air and one left on base. We go to the seventh. It is Johnson Central five, Greenup County four here on the Cool Hit Sports Network. Someone will be with you. Don't know when. Don't hold your breath. But keep waiting. You don't have anything better to do. You know, at First and People's Bank, you don't have to wait for an answer. The decision makers are at the bank. And the friendly tellers are always ready to wait on you. First and People's Bank, the home office. Member Equal Housing Lender, FDIC. If you're looking for a complete discount pharmacy with old-fashioned service and excellent prices, then you're looking for Stultz Pharmacy. Since 1979, Stultz Pharmacy has provided our area with the finest in pharmacy care. 24-hour emergency prescription service, free delivery and drive through service for prescriptions. For hometown service, see the professionals at Stultz Pharmacy in Greenup and Wheelersburg. More than you expect from a pharmacy. Stultz Pharmacy. Welcome back here to Johnson Central. We go to the seventh inning. And Johnson Central with a 5-4 lead and a new pitcher for Johnson Central's Bryce Spencer will come in to pitch. As Gavin Crum goes six innings, gives up four runs on seven hits. He walked four and struck out five. And Spencer will come in to pitch. Who? Who's 
Oh, okay. Well, you, the roster here says 23 is Bryce Spencer. It's not. Who is it? Hunter Blevins? I mean, there's a Hunter Blevins that's supposed to be number 12. So we'll say that's who that is then. Hunter Blevins. They've switched then, or they got it wrong on here, one way or the other. All right. So Blevins will come into pitch. Cam Carroll will lead things off. And we're going to have a conversation before the first pitch. Blevins, 17 and two-thirds innings. 20 hits, 20 runs, 14 of them earned, 11 walks, 8 strikeouts. And his first pitch is a called strike on the inside corner. Greenup County scored one in the second, two in the third. Johnson Central came back to tie it with three in the fourth to make it 3-3. Here's a bunt. Pitcher's going to have to field it. Does, turns, throws too high. Did they get him? No. Pulled him off the bag. That'll be an error on the pitcher. And put the tying run down at first base. Greenup County got one in the six to go up 4-3. Johnson Central two in the six to go up 5-4. And I guess they're asking the home plate umpire if he got tagged, but he says no. So Carroll is on with the tying run. And it brings up Atkins, who has struck out, walked, and struck out. Top of the seventh inning. Now Johnson Central wants to talk about things. It's been a good ball game. A lot of strategy. Every team, every run's been really, really important. And now you got a leadoff man on here in the seventh with nobody out. You know Greenup County is going to try to get them around one way or the other. You have to field the bunts, make the plays. Been exciting. Greenup County led 3-0. Johnson Central tied it 3-3. Greenup went back up 4-3. Johnson Central takes a 5-4 lead. Now here we are in the seventh. With a leadoff man on base, top of the order up for Greenup County. Blevins is a lefty, and he'll throw the first and the runner back. Carroll a little nonchalant getting back. That's what Coach Logan's a little upset about. He's throwing over again, and he throws it away. And it goes into right field, and the runner will get to second base, and they'll throw back, but not in time. Nope, they didn't throw. Thought about it. So a wild throw over to first base allows the runner to go to second base, and now the tying run is at second. Atkins still waiting for the first pitch. And it's a call strike. So Blevins, a wild throw to first to allow Carroll to get on, and then a wild pickoff throw allows him to go to second. Trying to calm himself down on the mound now. 0-1 to Atkins, and the pitch is a swing and a miss at an off-speed pitch, 0-2. Clarkson on deck. He's 3-for-3 three three in this ballgame. 
Couple of infield hits and a single. 0-2 to Atkins. Pitch, swing and a miss, he struck him out. First strikeout for Blevins and the sixth for Johnson Central pitching. It brings up Austin Clarkson, single to left field, got picked off. Infield hit and scored in the third and an infield hit in the fifth. Three for three. In at the corners. Time called. Pitcher taking too long. Wireman on deck. One out. Runner at second. Pitch over his head. Ball one. Squared like he was going to butt. Took it. It was way inside over his head. So time called as Greg Logan talks to Clarkson, and now shortstop comes and talks to the pitcher. Now we're ready to go. 1-0 to count to Clarkson. Levin's ready. And a throw into center field. Nobody was there. Gets by the center fielder, and the runner's going to score. The pitcher thought there was going to be a pickoff play, and there was nobody covering, nobody. I mean, the second baseman, shortstop, nobody there. Throws it in the center field. The center fielder coming to try and get it. It got through him, and that allows the run to score. And we now have a 5-5 ball game. As we're tied up. And that will be yet another error on the pitcher three this inning. Johnson Central had only committed one error in the ball game and now three by the pitcher. One on the bunt, one on the errant throw over to try to pick him off and one on a pickoff play to second where nobody was at. So now the bases are empty with one out. But we're tied up at 5-5 here in the top of the seventh. And to count 1-0 and to Clarkson. And 2-0 and missed outside. Two zero pitch misses outside three zero. So Carroll reached on an error on an errant throw on a bunt, went to second on a bad pickoff throw, and then comes home on a bad pickoff at second base. And he missed outside and walked him. Atkins struck out in between that. First walk given up by Blevins and the fourth walk given up by Johnson Central pitching. So you got Clarkson down at first base as the go-ahead run. Wireman at the plate has walked, sacrificed flower behind, grounded out to third. 0 for 1 officially. Squares to bunt. And takes a strike. One 
One out. Clarkson does not have a real big lead. It's a pitch swung on. That one's hit down the left field line, and it is foul. It did right till the very end. Looked like that was going to just hang in there, but it, it was foul. Count 0 2. Now Wireman has to protect the plate with one out. Clevenger on deck. Clarkson down at first represents the go ahead run. Levin's ready, comes to the plate outside. Good job by the catcher. That would have went to the backstop. Again, Clarkson takes the lead at first base. 1-2 pitch. Swung on, grounder to third. Third baseman has it, goes to second for one, back to first, not in time. So Wireman will be on with the fielder's choice on the five to four put out. Two down, brings up Hunter Clevenger, who has struck out, grounded out to short with a run scoring and singled and scored. One for three with a run scored and an RBI. Runner going. Here's the throw down, and they got him. Sure did. Greenup County does come up with one on no hits. Three Johnson Central airs, and nobody left on base. We go to the bottom of the seventh inning. It is Greenup County five, Johnson Central five, on the Cool Hits Sports Network. What are the keys to better health care? At SOMC, we start by putting it right at your fingertips. Now you can have a virtual visit with your SOMC provider right through your personal online patient portal. And with our convenient app, you can use your tablet or your smartphone to have a virtual visit safely just about anywhere. Ask your SOMC provider whether a virtual visit is right for you. Southern Ohio Medical Center. Very good things are happening here. You know, financial security begins at home with home ownership. If you've been putting off looking for a home because you think you can't afford it, you owe it to yourself to check out Members' Choice Credit Union. Members' Choice Credit Union has programs for first-time home buyers and more to help put you in the home of your dreams. Call, click, or stop by Members' Choice Credit Union today. Members' Choice Credit Union, NMLS 411945, Equal Housing Lender. Call for additional information. Other restrictions may apply. Tres Hermanos Nunez has such a wide variety of authentic Mexican menu items. Appetizers, nachos, steak, chicken, seafood fajitas, chimichangas, tacos, burritos, quesadillas, mocajetes, vegetarian choices, a kid's menu, desserts and salads, all at affordable prices. For budget-pleasing, great-tasting Mexican food, Tres Hermanos Nunez is on your way in Ashland, Greenup, Grayson, Paintsville, Canova, South Point, Oliveville, and the newly remodeled interior of the Cannonsburg location, now open. Tres Hermanos Nunez. Since 1956, Sperry Auto Parts has served the tri-state with used late model foreign and domestic auto parts. Sperry Auto Parts stays in touch with dealers nationwide through their hotline service for parts and late model repairable cars, trucks, and SUVs specializing in Jeep, Chrysler, and GM. Sperry's provides a 30-day warranty on engines and transmissions. They also have a computerized inventory, making for quicker and better service. See the winning team at Sperry Auto Parts, Route 8 in South Portsmouth, Kentucky, across from the Carl Perkins Bridge. 5-5 ball game as we go to the bottom of the seventh inning and for Johnson Central, 3-4-5 and five, up to face Carson Wireman who came in to work the sixth and gave up two runs and two hits. Connor LeMaster will lead things off, flew out to left, flew out to left and doubled to center field. And the first pitch is low and inside ball one. He doubled the center on the runner, tried to score. That was on base and got thrown out. Eight to six to two. 
1-0 pitch. Swung on, and that is laced into right field by the right fielder. That will go all the way to the wall. And rounding second and heading to third. Here comes the throw, and it's not in time. That will be a triple. You hate that, but it does. No, he didn't get a glove on it. Just got by him. And that brings up Ryan starting soon, and all he needs to do is hit a fly ball to the outfield, and they're not going to let him. They'll walk him. So they'll walk him, which will be the first walk given up by Wireman. Third overall, and that's intentional. And they'll probably, are they going to walk Pelfrey too? And load them up. Yes. So Coach Logan's going to play the strategy all the way around. So he's going to walk Sarton Sloan and Pelfrey and put them at first, second, and third. And that's going to bring up Spradlin, who has flown out to left, walked and scored and struck out. The infield's going to come in. Man, I love baseball when it's all kinds of strategy, though. I mean, you're, you're looking at it and you're saying, one of these two guys, Sarton Sloan or Pelfrey, is going to put a ball in the outfield. So I'm just going to put them on. I'm going to take my chances on everybody else hitting the ball on the ground and we can get force outs. And if, and if these guys step up and hit it out of the infield, more power to them. It's, baseball's a game of strategy and you take chances. So here we go. Bases loaded, nobody out, bottom of the seventh, 5-5 five, five ball game. And they're going to bring the right fielder in to play second base. And the second baseman to play right behind the pitcher. Give them right field. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. And a breaking ball. So he's brought the right fielder in Underwood to play second base, basically on the grass. Put the second baseman on the grass behind the pitcher. So you got six infielders trying to knock down the ball. 0-1. Oh, Misses outside, one and one. You can't walk them, of course, and you can't throw the ball away from the catcher position, <laughs> which he almost did. One and one to count to Spradlin. Pitch. Swing and a miss, one and two. So in this situation, all you're asking for is ground balls so you get a force out at home or strikeouts. Anything else, game over. Fly ball, ground ball past the infield, game over. One, two, strike, ooh. Ooh, really close pitch, two and two. Two and two. Wireman ready, 2-2 two, two pitch. Swung on, fly ball, right field, center field. Here comes Clarkson. Here comes the throw. Here comes the play at the plate. He's safe. Good throw by Clarkson. Good play. Johnson Central wins it as Spradlin comes in with the sacrifice fly RBI. And Johnson Central wins it by a score of 6-5. to five. We'll be back with the final numbers in just a moment. Reyes Hermanos Nunez has such a wide variety of authentic Mexican menu items. Appetizers, nachos, steak, chicken, seafood fajitas, chimichanga, tacos, burritos, quesadillas, mocajetes, vegetarian choices, a kid's menu, desserts and salads, all at affordable prices. For budget-pleasing, great-tasting Mexican food, Reyes Hermanos Nunez is on your way in Ashland, Greenup, Grayson, Paintsville, Canova, South Point, Oliveville, and the newly remodeled interior of the Cannonsburg location now open. Reyes Hermanos Nunez. 
Since 1956, Sperry Auto Parts has served the tri-state with used, late model, foreign, and domestic auto parts. Sperry Auto Parts stays in touch with dealers nationwide through their hotline service for parts and late model repairable cars, trucks, and SUVs specializing in Jeep, Chrysler, and GM. Sperry's provides a 30-day warranty on engines and transmissions. They also have a computerized inventory, making for quicker and better service. See the winning team at Sperry Auto Parts, Route 8 in South Portsmouth, Kentucky, across from the Carl Perkins Bridge. Back here at uh, Johnson Central, where Johnson Central has won tonight by a score of 6-5, to five, winning it in the bottom of the seventh inning, uh, getting the sacrifice fly RBI after a triple by LeMaster, and then Greg Logan rows the dice and intentionally walks two batters, and then Spradlin with a short fly to right field, and uh, really a good job out there by Clarkson playing sort of center right short, got there, got it, made a good throw home, but uh, good job by LeMaster to score, uh, and uh, that's the winning run. For Johnson Central, six runs on ten hits. They commit four errors, leave eight on base. For Greenup County, five runs on seven hits. They commit two errors and leave four on base. Johnson Central, three runs in the fourth, two runs in the sixth, one in the seventh, and Greenup County, one in the second, two in the third, one in the sixth, and one in the seventh. Cam Carroll goes five innings, gives up three runs, seven hits, walk two, struck out two. Carson Weirman goes two innings, gives up three runs, three hits. He ended up walking two. He struck out three and did not hit a batter. Uh, Weirman takes the loss. Uh, Gavin Crum went six innings, gave up four runs, seven hits, four walks, and five strikeouts. Hunter Blevins comes in, goes an inning, and gives up a run, no hits. Uh, he walked uh, one, and he struck out one, and he gets the win. So Johnson Central goes to 16 and eight on the year. Green Greenup County falls to 13 and 13, and Johnson Central uh, has now won 12 of their last 13. We'll take a break. We'll come back. We'll have post-game comments with Coach Greg Logan. That's coming up in a couple of moments here. I can't here. believe the house is ours. Finally, freedom. Today's the day, my own business. These are the moments you'll remember forever when a bank becomes more than a checking account or loan. At People's Bank, our core difference is providing you peace of mind and confidence in your financial life. By asking the right questions and working with you, we earn your business. Together, we're building financial success one special moment at a time. People's Bank, working together, building success. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Stop by any of the four convenient locations in Monroe Collision for an insurance estimate after an accident and let them explain how you can get back into your vehicle sooner. Owner Kevin Monroe will discuss your options in their state-of-the-art facilities. Monroe's repairs are backed by a lifetime warranty. You'll drive away protected and happy. Ask about their free loaner car. For the best in repair, see the people who care in Portland.